Hello everyone, welcome to episode number 32 of my horror game tutorial series. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to actually kill the player and I'm going to show you how to use image effects and after we, uh, after we applied some image effects the game will look a lot better as you can see and yeah so I will see you after the intro. Okay, so now we're inside of Unity Editor and before we uh, do anything else, let's uh, start with the essential stuff. So go to your scripts folder and then go to the player health script and open it up. And now we want to replace this line of code because currently if we die, we only get a console prompt that uh, tells us game over. And of course you want to replace that because when we ship our game, we really don't, like, we really want the player to actually know that they die. Okay, so let's delete this line of code and delete this comment and save. And now, now if we have a look at our, uh, where is it? Do I have it open? Right. So if we have a look at our main menu script, so we already have code in place that actually opens up a new scene, so of course we can uh, reuse it. So the first thing we need is uh, this using line right here, so we are just going to copy it and bring it over to the player health and paste it over there. And then we are going to grab the scene manager .load scene line and copy it too. And now we are pasting it inside of here. And now you can see we have the underscore level name. Uh, it's not defined, so we have to delete it. And now we have to have a look at our scenes folder. And our scene a main menu is called scene main menu. So let's grab the name and paste it in there. And of course, this has to be a string, so don't forget the quotation marks. And now save. And now if I go into the play mode and I run up to the safe and grab the pistol and let the ghoul come and let him kill me. You can see that we spawn uh, that the apartment scene uh, is loaded up. So yeah. Um, where is my mouse? Can't see my mouse. So control B. Okay. Um. So now that we got that, let's uh, start with the fun stuff. So first of all. Let's have a look at our game. I mean, it looks good, but it could look better, right? So if we are here in the game view and let me clear that. And now let me disable the canvases. So canvas safe, I don't need that for now. And canvas player hut, I don't need that. So this game could look a lot better. So let's right click and create, uh, I'm sorry. Let's right click on your assets folder and we're going to import a package and we're going to import the effects uh, package. It's provided by Unity so you should have it as um, default. So let's import that and Unity will do its stuff. And here are a lot of things and those things are called image effects. So let me explain to you why Unity is importing the package what an image effect is. An image effect is basically, it's, um, how do I put it the best? It's basically like a Snapchat filter for your game. That's exactly what it is. It takes the picture that your camera gets and then puts a layer of effect on top of it and makes it look a lot better. So you will see what I mean in just a second. So the image effects will appear in your standard assets. So go to your first person character camera. It's this one right here. And now click on add component and clear your search. And now in your uh, list right here, you have a new tab called image effects. And if you click on this, you can see there are a lot of things and we can add some of these to see what they do. So for example, we can add anti-lacing to our game. So this may not be as, um, obvious but let's go to uh, 
um, the table right here and have a look at it. And I hope I can fix this in the view. So, okay. It's always such a pain to get this working. Okay. Okay. So now have a look at the edges. And now I disable anti-lacing. And you may notice that uh, the edges become a lot smoother once I enable anti-lacing. It's a subtle effect, but it has a lot of impact. So anti-lacing is always a good thing. So now add another component and we are going to add another image effect. And this time I want to add a uh, displacement or no, actually I won't. Um, I want to add, hmm, let's see, some noise so you can add some noise so then your camera will kind of look like in a, a movie. So I don't know if you can see this, but uh, there's like this little film gray going on. Perhaps I can increase it. So you might be able to see that. Um, it's a, again, it's a very subtle effect, but it makes a huge difference. So you can add more of these to uh, increase how you get, uh, like to make your game look better. And there's one more image effect I want to show you, actually two. So color adjustment and then go to curves. So color correction, curves and saturation. And add this. And now you can see you have some curves to play around with. And you can basically, what they do is you can uh, filter certain colors to make them pop up more or to uh, decrease the saturation. So if I bring up the red all the way, I hope that you can see it. So as you can see, we now got a bright red screen. And now if I bring it down again, it looks normal now. So let me zoom out a bit. So as you can see, this image effects make your game look a lot better and of course it's always a lot of tweaking with them because if you have a look at them there's so many options and different things you can play around with it's uh, really really a lot of um, like a lot of work with them and I was and I would always recommend that you uh, do them as kind of uh, like a last step of your game so a finishing touch so um, yeah, and the last one I wanted to show you is um, one of my favorites. So go to, I think it's camera and then, uh, no, it's not, it's edge detection. So as you can see, I, I don't even know where everything is located. I should have done a better job and first uh, write down where every effect is that I want to um, have. So, hmm. Is it blur camera? No, it's not in color adjustment. Is it in displacement, rendering? Ah, of course, uh, here in rendering, it's screen space, ambient occlusion. Uh, it's this one right here. If you add it, you might have seen that there was a, like a little black line added. So if I disable it and this will add like black lines uh, to all of your objects where they meet another object. So they will basically fake like a shadow. Of course, this is not really realistic, but I think this looks very, very good and it gives your game world a lot more depth. So I think the game looks a lot better now. So once again, here's what we got now. And now I'm going to disable all the effects 
As you can see it looks pretty flat and pretty boring and now I'm going to add all those effects back again. And now the game looks a lot better in my opinion. And yeah, uh, one more thing to keep in mind when you use image effects it is that image effects take up a lot of memory and they also uh, like demand a lot of uh, processing powers, uh, processing power, especially anti-lacing. So always be careful and perhaps give your player an options menu where they can uh, disable some of those effects. Especially if you got some effect like let's say motion blur. So let me type that in motion blur. So if you got some motion blur going on and now of course this is way too much but um, this looks kind of like a drunk effect. It may, may make your player dizzy so always give them the option to disable those effects. So yeah, so thanks for watching. In the next episode I will wrap this whole project up. So yeah, so thanks for watching. And as always, don't forget to smile and until next time, bye guys.